One of the great, most atmospheric venues anywhere in the football world. We're at the home of Borussia Dortmund. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It is Borussia Dortmund facing Milan. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Niklas Süle starts with Nico Schulz in the fullback positions, and the striker of choice is the powerful and lethal Sebastian Allaire. It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. France. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. And giving the ball away. A bit of running room now on the wing. And options in the centre. Marco Reus, usually a potential match winner. Stuart, what are your expectations regarding his performance today? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Brandt. And you've got to say, not the best of volleys that time. Yeah, it was certainly there to hit, but he just couldn't make the right contact. It was well wide in the end. Has the strength to hang on to it. Benassa. And back with Giroud. Has a go! And it's in! Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Price. A room to roam on the wing. And the cross sent in by Royce. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just invited someone to attack it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So back underway following the equaliser. Chan. In with a chance. Well, the keeper reacted 
entered magnificently. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. And intercepts again. A wonderful intervention. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Can they take advantage of the situation? Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Who's Chan? Alain? Oh, in with a chance! It's got to be! He had to score, and he does! Just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. So back underway. And here's the question. Can Milan articulate the right reply? Well, Dortmund being afforded too much room. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Liao. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. No nonsense clearance. And there the first half ends here. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. An encouraging move from Dortmund. And it's Marco Reus! Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. Kea. Ficayo Tomori. Well, Marco Reus, frequently inspirational, and this game is no exception, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, that break looks so promising. The defender put in the challenge, and it might be a red card. And in the refereeing trade, they call it Dogzo, denial of a goal-scoring opportunity. Well, the referee's got that right. He saved a possible goal there, but at a cost. All fairly run-of-the-mill in terms of what the keeper had to do. Error from the keeper. Will they seize on it? And offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. Substitution it is for Dortmund. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Now, options are plenty. Dortmund have been awarded the free kick by the referee. Well, just a warning on this occasion. Might have decided to hand out the yellow card. Well, the free kick fired too close to the goalkeeper. Just 20 minutes remaining now. there to intercept it's a weighted pass 
And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Not a poor touch and unable to keep it in play. Throw in to come. Emre Can. Who's Can? Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And acres of space out wide for Milan. Crossed accurately towards the far post. Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, but the finish is so easy. He's given far too much time and space. He doesn't even have to jump. Poor defending, you have to say. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. This could be dangerous if he's not careful. An effective challenge. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. And the pass could do damage. And he might be in here. And the keeper's in trouble. And not cleared away properly. Well, nothing untoward happened. And now that play has stopped, the referee can administer the booking. A vital interception. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Milan still on the attack and the game's waning moments. Still level. That 